Welcome to C Programming Tutorials. In today's tutorial, we are going to learn about structures. How structures are defined, what they are, how they are declared in C programming, and stuff like that. How they are, how the members of structures uh, are accessed in in C program. And before before. Uh, I start again the same old thing. Um, I would really appreciate if you could uh, become the fan of the f Facebook page, uh, Awesome C Programming Tutorials in High Def, or if you could subscribe to this uh, YouTube channel, Learn, or um, if um, <coughs> and 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 I would really appreciate if you could leave some comments as to whether you like uh, or you know dislike or you know any kind of suggestions that you might have or any kind of topic that you might want to cover in these tutorials either on the Facebook page or in the YouTube uh, page for this video uh, I would really appreciate it and um, so okay so let's get started um, the structures are let's let's try to be let's try to understand what this um, what the concept of of a structure is. Let me plug in my pen here. Uh, let's see. Okay, now it's working. Um, okay. So sometimes what happens is that you have to like you know we already learned how to declare variables like integer variable and s string variables and stuff like that. But sometimes we really need to group some variables together into what we call structures. So for example, you know let's let's take the example of a student okay with the student there for every student there is certain attributes or uh, properties uh, specific to that particular student uh, for and, and they are common in each and every student for example um, we have uh, uh, ID of the student and the name of the student right and say age of the student right so you have ID of the student you have the name of the student and then the age of the student these three things are like grouped together into one single structure okay this is this is what we call structure this is a structure so a structure basically container or collection of uh, of variables of different type different type for example this ID would be just an integer okay this name would right and we know how to define a string if you haven't watched that tutorial um, which was like the weak tutorials in the series you should basically uh, it's part of a of the playlist that basically contains all the programming tutorials in here and the age is basically an integer so see how this is an integer type it is a string type this is integer type these three things together make, make up what we call a structure and this whole thing is basically we can call it a student right so for every student there will be an ID there will be a name and there will be an age associated with it so how do you represent this kind of information in a C program so let's look at that so the way to declare a structure is basic a structure is basically by using the keyword struct like this followed by the structure name and then the braces and then the variable declarations okay and there will be there, there there are going to be multiple of those okay depending upon how many variables you want to declare in your um, uh, in your structure and then followed by a braces and then semicolon okay this whole thing basically ends up in declaring a structure so in our particular in this particular example how are we going to declare the structure so struct and then the name of the structure let's call it you know we wanted to declare a student structure so let's call it a student you can just name it whatever you want okay a student and then what kind of uh, uh, members it will have these are called members okay so it will have an ID and it will have the string name to hold the name of the student 
so how do you write that this is how we declare a string that it's an array of characters and if we expect that the name would be like 20 characters long maximum then we declare it as 21 characters wide why because we want to keep one character for the null termination the end of a string character the zero that it stores at the end of every string right and then uh, integer age okay uh, there we go so so this declares this structure the same structure that I just drew before before this and then after that this this just declares the structure it doesn't declare any variables for this structure it doesn't declare this variable ID it doesn't declare this name string it doesn't declare age so if I declare an ID here now this declares a variable ID it just gives a template a kind of you know it just gives a template of how the structure would look like if it is you know if if a variable is created with this name so how do we create the variable just like you know normally we create the variable like you know writing the type followed by the variable name right that's how we declare a variable okay the same thing here you know for example we declare int x int is the type x is the variable name right so the same thing here this is structure name becomes like a type a type that you defined yourself int was a predefined type character was a predefined type float is a predefined type but this is something that you declared yourself so so this will be this is your new type struct student okay followed by this name of the variable so this will create one student structure okay so let's call it some name uh, st1 for example you know so this this whole thing is the type and then this is the variable name or the structure name okay so uh, let's call it variable name because the structure name would be this student here okay so this basically declares uh, the student st1 so now our picture is something like this there is a there is a, st a structure oops st1 okay and inside that structure there are three members okay one is the ID the other one is the name and the third one is the age okay so I could say ID one three two four with name you know I don't know Suhail okay and age 10 I'm not 10 years old but you know for example okay so this is what this will constitute the information about one student and how do we do that in the C program this is how we do it okay so we already have the variable name is st1 this is how you access the elements or the members inside the structure st1 dot ID is equal to one three one two three four okay st1 dot name is equal to so hell do you think you can do that no because when we are learning about the strings I told you that you cannot do that when you have to assign a string to another string you want to assign this string to another string what do you do you do this okay you use the function strcpy string copy this will do it and then st1 dot age is 10 so this will basically fill up that structure with you know this will fill up the structures with your with all the data that we just described so we will continue with this tutorial in the next uh, video uh, the time is up so please rate this video to five stars if you liked it and don't forget to leave the comments thank you so much